And the men's 3,000 metres, and here's the lineup. Graham Miltak of Great Britain, Tony Stennings, Langard and Deggy of Kenya, Dave Long of Great Britain, Paul Moser of Kenya, beaten recently by Ian Stewart, John Davis, the British 3,000 metre steeplechase uh, a record holder, Chris Riddler and Steve Walker. And there's Davis in second place. He's, got, he's a very brave runner. In fact, at this dis distance uh, last year in Oslo, he set a Welsh record. And he's a very gutsy runner. 1-3-1 one, one is Grenville Tuck coming up to his shoulder. 1-3-2 is Grenville Tuck, rather. And uh, Chris Stewart is just alongside him. But now coming up is the Kenyan. It's Langan and Deggy. Uh, he's really a steeplechaser, as most of the athletes are in this field. So at the moment, it's Grenville Tuck out there. And Deggy, Davis is there. And another of the African uh, athletes, Chariot, probably, of uh, Kenya also is coming up into third position. We just identify them, I think, as we go along here, because we want to know who the devil they are, half of them. Granville Tuck, one of twins, who really has had more success than his twin brother. But the other brother has really rather more potential, which he's never been able to realize. Granville Tuck in the lead at the moment. In second place, 1-2-9, which is... I don't know, 125, I think, is Ndegi. 119 is Chariot. Chariot in third place. And, uh, yeah, I've got that one, Ndegi. Chariot is in... Uh, Spedding has come through into third place now. That's right. From Gateshead. Who's the blonde boy in fourth place? So it's 132, Granville Tuck. Spedding just behind him. Charles Spedding of Gateshead. There, 119 is Chariot, the Kenyan athlete. He ran a very fast 10,000 meters on Monday. 28 minutes, 10.6 seconds. 122 is David Long. The United Kingdom junior record holder of a 3,000 meter steeplechase. Paul Moser is in that field, 1 2 4, tucked away somewhere. No, he's not. Paul Moser's not there. Chris Riddler. Yes, Chris Riddler's third. Spedding is, no, Riddler's fourth. And Deggy is second. Grenville Tuck, Spedding is fourth. Who's the blonde boy, the tall blonde boy? Oh, that's the young junior boy, isn't it? That's the junior record holder. David Long, 122, I think. He's going to be using it in a second anyway. How many laps have gone now? Coming up to the end of three laps. We haven't got the clock, so we don't know what the times are. <clears throat> now let's I think we should put it up take the clock out and put it up anywhere down here and we'll just pick it up and re-identify it and then we've got like you know four four laps to go not there half of them I should take that down hard it's not worth a row of beans I think there are too many names to read. Let, let's just leave it as a men's 3,000 and pick it up. Can we now? Yes, I still don't know these boys. They're changing so frequently. You don't know half the field. This is spedding, isn't it? We'll pick it up with three laps to go, and we can have a look at them. 130 is Tony Stennings. 128 is spedding. Who's 129? Is Peter Standing? Spedding, is it? 
And so, with three laps to go in the men's 3,000 metres, it's Spedding, Charles Spedding from Gateshead, who's in the lead, but I can't believe he's going to hold that lead very much longer. Right behind him, you've got a field that includes two Kenyan runners, and Deggy, who's way down the field in uh, the green shirt. John Davis is also there. Peter Standing is in second place. And also, there is the, there we are, 128 now is Charles Spedding, who's out in front. 129 is Peter Standing in second place. There you see the colored athlete from Kenya, 125, coming up now. This is uh, Langat Ndegi. Ndegi, who is, uh, like most of the athletes in this field, a steeplechaser. He's got a best time of 8.24, but it's still 129. Peter Standing in the lead at the moment. John Bycourt, 118, is there too. John Davis is in that field somewhere, the British record holder. He started out well, but we haven't seen him. There's a, Standings has just, uh, Nearly fallen off there, but Bycourt now coming into fourth place. It's a very windy race for them, this particularly as they've got about six laps against the six, seven laps against the uh, wind on the back straight. 122 at the back of the field, a baptism of fire for him, the European junior record holder Dave Long. And here comes Ndegi again. Morris Ben is in second place. And Deggy coming up, Ben coming with him, 129, let me just remind you, is Peter standing, Morris Ben coming up into the lead, and Deggy's lying very close up there, 130 again is Tony Stennings, and the lead is changing fairly rapidly, but it's Morris Ben at the moment, out in front, and here comes John Bycourt moving up into fourth place, just keeping uh, Ndegi in touch. Morris Ben, Tony Stennings in second place, Bycourt moving into third place, 127 moving up very quickly, is Chris Riddler, Chris Riddler now moving up onto Bycourt, and Tony Stannings has now taken over from Morris Benn. So it's Tony Stannings at the moment with one lap to go in the lead. Morris Benn is in second place, quite a gap, and then comes John Bycourt, and the runners spread way out along the track. John Davis well down the field, surprisingly, and so it's Stannings out in front, Morris Benn in second place, and I think if anything, Stannings is lengthening his lead. We can't expect a very fast time, I don't think, in this race with such windy conditions, particularly very stiff conditions down that uh, far straight. The world record, just for what it's worth, is 735.2, held, of course, by Brendan Foster. Stellings going beautifully, going very fast, running very well indeed. I don't know whether he can sustain this kind of pace all the way down because he's sprinted from about 300 metres out. I'm getting a considerable round of applause now from the large crowd here, some 10,000 of them. Tony Stennings going to win this very easily indeed. Morris Benn in second place. A lead of some 30 or 40 yards. He takes the tape now, the time unofficially. There you are, 755 points.